Today I wanted to show you Easy Peasy Linux. This is formerly Ubuntu Triple E. And this is, um, judging by its former name, you can guess what this is meant for. This is meant for the EPC and similar spec netbooks. You can see here that this is the traditional Ubuntu login screen. Now it's going to think my caps lock is on when it's off. Yay me. Leave it on when you restart the system and it reverses itself. Oh well. Nothing a simple restart can't fix. But that'll be after the video. Let's go ahead and log in. Now I'm going to zoom out. Because... It may be Ubuntu here on the front on the login screen, but the second we log in, you're going to see some very big differences. Now, this is one of them. It wants you to re-enter your password so that you have the authority to perform administrative tasks. I'm going to go ahead and do that because I'm the administrator on this system, but if you had a guest, I guess you could go ahead and hit cancel, and this way they wouldn't be able to enter, they wouldn't be able to use administrative tasks. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and enter my password again. Look at this. This is a completely different interface. Now, the reason that came up, this is the install for Ubuntu, the reason it came up is because I do not have the CD unmounted. So I gotta do that. But I'm gonna go ahead and close this. Now, let's take a look at this window here. There's no traditional minimize or anything. Instead, you just hit the X button here at the top. Now, I wouldn't be able to tell that there was an X there unless I got close, but um, you know, I can tell that that would be it. In fact, if I hover my window, hover my arrow over here, it says here, close window. So let's go ahead and quit the installer because it's already in here. And this is the home screen. And you have everything on here. You don't have anything in favorites, but you can go ahead and drag stuff to favorites. So... Let's go ahead and take a tour. We have our usual Ubuntu accessories. Even have access to the terminal here. You have your usual games. Oops. I don't know why this is um, being a little, uh, a little choppy, but as you can see, it's everything the standard Ubuntu has. Oh, I know why it's being choppy. It's because I'm recording that at the same time. But everything that you'd expect... And you notice that you don't have to go into any menus. It's all right here, right here in front. One of the things I like is that it comes with the Orca screen reader magnifier. So let's go back up to, um, well, let's just finish this. So you've got everything that Ubuntu, this, this is Ubuntu. It's just been customized a little bit. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back up to the internet and I'm going to launch Firefox. Now you notice that you can only have one application open at a time. So what happens if you want to open another app? Well that's simple enough. What we do is we go up here, see here, click here to hide all windows and show the home screen. So if we go ahead and click that, so that would do that would um, Firefox. And let's go into the office. 
and open up openoffice.org word processing. And this is your traditional open office. I'm going to magnify here just to show you. Now the reason I don't have it zoomed in and have everything all customized with the big font like this, if everything works out, this could be going on my netbook. And I do not have the zoom utility. Um, I mean, I could try it within Orca and see how it works out. But I want to try this as well, so I'm just going to try them both. Um, so anyway... So this is just your traditional, traditional or uh, traditional uh, open office. So if I go get out of here, there are no changes. So it 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 literally is the same the same thing. Let me go back in there because what I wanted to show you was how the system can multitask. Let's go up here to the top because you notice, like I said, only one application is visible at a time. So what do you do? There's your openoffice.org. There's your Ubuntu Start Page Mozilla Firefox. And there's the home screen. And the one thing I love about this setup, this is actually easier than... This is meant for the EPC, and the EPC is... Um, what was it? Easy to work, easy to play, easy to grow or something like that. This is the definition of easy. This Ubuntu, Ubuntu is easy. This is even easier. This setup, this comes with everything a computer, a general casual computer user could want. It even comes with Skype. If we go back into the internet here, see right there, it comes with Skype. This is something that most uh, distributions don't come with off the bat, or some of them don't. Some do, some don't. This one does, and the fact that it comes with it off the bat is just fantastic. You don't have to worry about going online to install it. It comes with everything you need. It comes with a web browser, instant messenger. Like I said, you have Skype. Within graphics, you've got your uh, you've got a uh, font settings. You've got drawing. You've got an image scanner, you've got a, a webcam booth, photo viewer. you got a full office suite in here, including a dictionary. Under sound, you've got a movie player and a sound recorder. And apparently they, uh, hmm, that's interesting. They get rid of the um, rhythm box music player and give you a songbird instead which I've never used. I'll have to play with that. But this is just a quick overview. And like I said, the bit, one of the most beautiful things, this is a netbook-based operating system that you can put on any netbook, and it comes with Orca. And if it can run Orca, then that, that is just fantastic. I love it. Over here, on the, um, over here on the right, we've got our places. So we've got home, network, easy peasy. You can eject the media. You got your documents, music, pictures, videos. Um, but that is that is easy peasy. Easy peasy. So easy. <laughs> um, but that's pretty much uh, what easy peasy Linux is. Ubuntu built for netbooks. And again, like I said, if all goes well, this will be going onto my Vio UX. If everything, not necessarily with the OS, but everything in terms of third party, uh, removing Windows, backing it up and all that, um, goes well. There you go. Anyway, thank you for watching. Comments are welcome. And have a nice evening.